executive special advisor Mo Hussein, who you saw in Jonathan's report, and also Andrew Pearce of the Mail, of course, and Kevin Maguire of the Mirror. Uh, first, here's Ranveer with the rest of the day's news. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Susanna. Carried on the way that they intended to vote in Parliament. We've got the Education Secretary himself named the Book of Issues to kind of um, to warn people if they make a mistake. That is not something I've ever heard of. That is like totally. An entirely neutral position, an of course, as, position. as an observer this of morning. Um, and our main news, of course, is that police officers who guard Downing Street have reportedly already been interviewed over the Partygate scandal. They are said to have been, and this is a quote from a source, only too willing to provide extremely damning information. Sue Gray, who's heading the investigation, is expected to talk to the Prime Minister's former Chief Advisor Dominic Cummings later today. It comes amid calls for a separate inquiry into claims of Islamophobia within the government. Jonathan Swain's at Downing Street for... To Liverpool. As they are, <laughs> as they are now known. <laughs> oh, well done, Norwich, by the way. Two recently. wins on the trot. How does that feel? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I was out there of the relegation night. drop zone. Out of the yes, although Burnley, I think, have got still five or four games in, in hand. In hand, yeah. But you know, we were so good. Scores two goals. I mean, it was just fabulous. It was a glorious moment for you. For me, yeah. Our oh, well, and for, for uh, and for All millions of Norwich fans around the world. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just for me. Um, right. Let's have a look at the weather. Here's Laura. He scores two goals. I mean, it was just fabulous. It was a glorious moment for you. For me, yeah. Our oh, well, and for, for uh, and for All millions of Norwich fans around the world. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just for me. Um, right, let's have a look at the weather. Here's Laura. Right, let's have a look at the front pages this morning. Daily Telegraph reporting. <laughs> The things, sorry, I was just going to say, one of the things that they'll have to do is um, that if you have COVID, of course, you must isolate in New Zealand for at least 14 days. But household members need to be in isolation for an additional 10 days. Yeah, up to 24 days. So, so nearly, yeah, three and a half weeks if you're a household member of someone who tests positive. <laughs> National insurance increase, which was supposed to help get rid of the backlog. And all the people who chose not to meet friends in the garden, have parties, but also go to hospital um, with illnesses which they didn't think were... Insurance increase, which was supposed to help get rid of the backlog. And all the people who chose not to meet friends in the garden, have parties, but also go to hospital um, with illnesses which they didn't think were severe. ...eased quite soon um, against Covid transmission. You know, 52,000... Just coming up to five to seven. Still to come on the programme, one of Pop's most distinctive... Now, though it's a competition, you have the chance to win a prize worth £130,000. Here's Andy. Good morning. For this morning when I got into the car to come down here. So let's take a look at the weather with Laura. Is it going to warm up? And then I didn't see Dancing on Ice yesterday, but Regan Gascoigne, apparently, superb. Very good. Dancer. Yeah. Do the dancers have an advantage? They say, look, we, even we can't do it on ice. I think but they've got they an advantage can. in the sense that they... skates. Ooh. That's always terrified yes. me about yes. uh, ice skating. God, I'm wincing as much as I winced when I saw all those hamsters earlier. I know. Oh. Poor hamsters. Still Thank ahead you. on Good Morning Britain. Who's got the recipe? But a lot of cooking, which, of course, and bringing out a cookbook, which, of course, is something else. I mean, you are qualified in every single <laughs> item on this programme. It's almost like we booked you deliberately, of course. <laughs> uh, now let's get the news, Traveller Weather, where you are. See you in a moment. <laughs>